hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ebedo happiness choma in case you're seeing me for the first time in today's video i'll be showing business owners how to leverage an open source software in order to improve their business processes if this sounds like what you're interested in definitely do keep on watching <laughs> back guys so like i said before i'm going to be showing business owners how to leverage an open source software in order to improve their business processes so if you're a small business owner be it a skincare vendor hair vendor fashion line you own a fashion line whatever your business might be i am also a business owner so i find out that it's very difficult for us to find um a software that can help us manage our business process. When I mean what when I say manage our business process, I mean taking orders, scheduling deliveries, as well as monitoring your orders. So you find that some of us we have different people who take order for us. It could be through um, social media channel, it could be through phone call, as well as SMS. By the time we use paper to take note of these things, when we lose this paper, we find it difficult to track our orders especially when we have different people taking this order we find it that that is very difficult for us to manage or keep track of our orders as a business owner like you i have tried different softwares i've downloaded and tried different softwares and most of these softwares they are free but not free when i say they are free but not free yes you can download it you can put your customers you can input your products product catalog as well as your sales price and your purchase price and it can also help you monitor your income but this monitoring of income comes with a paid version that's the reporting maybe you want to know the amount you made in a particular month the channels that your orders are coming in the most from you don't even have channel in most of these softwares so the software i'm going to show you has all this so you can put your product catalog you can put your products as well you can create customers you can um you can put your purchase price sales price and then you can you have an order module this is another thing that you won't find in most of these free softwares as well so you have your other module you can have your delivery module scheduled delivery modules as well as invoice module so i'm going to show you guys how to make use of these software if you've been following my channel you know that um i'm a big believer in open source so whatever softwares i can get and then customize to do what i want I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. So all you have to do is get a domain name and host this by yourself. So these are things that you can do by yourself. And if you're finding it difficult, no problem. I'm here for you. So you can email me or DM me in any of my social media channel. And I'll try my best to help. So guys, let's get right into it. Let me just go ahead and log in to this. Once you log in, presented with your dashboard, we will talk about this much later. Let's just go ahead with the modules you have access to. So here you have access to customer module, orders, invoice, products, you have product categories, you have your cases, scheduled deliveries, you have reports, survey, as well as um, PDF templates and cases. Let's just take them one after the other so for the customer module this is where you can create your customers i've already gone ahead to create some of these fields so that this video won't be too long so if i go to view customer if you go to view customers you will see some of the customers i have already created and you can also create your own customer by clicking on create customers these are the fields available if you go to um, product categories, this is where you can add your product category. I'll be using a fashion store as an example. So this is their first, your product categories. You have gown, trousers, shorts, and tops. You can also create this by yourself by clicking on create product categories. So you see, you can make 
your category the parent category then you can now go ahead to add your products i'm gonna have to create some sample products as well so if you click on create products you see the product name you can add image you have product categories you can select the existing one you already have on your system you can add your cost price and your selling price so let's go into creating an order so when you want to create an order you click on create so once you click on that you will be presented with some fields here you have other name let me just go ahead and create one So you can choose your customer other status we have on hold so for what i implemented for myself when on hold is selected it means that i have a store person who we have to log in and confirm the order so once this is saved they will receive a notification telling them that they have an order to confirm on the system and once they come in and click on confirm the system automatically creates a scheduled delivery so it schedules delivery and then assigns that delivery to my delivery person to go ahead and make delivery i'll show us that but let me just click on let me select on hold for now other channel then this enables you to know where your orders are coming from so you can report on it as well let me select whatsapp here you have your payment type is it payment on delivery or pay before delivery let me select pay before delivery for this and then scroll all the way down i can then add my product quantity of see the buying says do this and select since it's purchase of trouser I'm go to pant trouser if I want to give them a discount I can put the price a discount of 1500 naira and this will be deducted from my total amount so you can scroll all the way down you can add a shipping See the discount has been affected and the money deducted. The total was ninety thousand. Then the discount affected. We brought it brought it down to eighty one thousand. Add my shipping fee, which increases the amount. Then if I want to add another product, I can also do that. I can add one more. Select the palazzo. I can give a discount of 15 naira. So can then put the billing address and assign it to someone if the billing address is the same thing as the shipping address we just copy this and then save once this is saved you see what we just created you can see the other details this is the other details so the system will automatically notify the store person that is in charge of confirming order so if they log into the system they go to view orders 
was able to view others. Click on it, edit, and change it from and hold to confirm. Once you change that to from on hold to confirm, the system changes the status as well. And if you go to view scheduled delivery, you will see that it has automatically created a view status delivery as well. That's created one. So if you click on that, you will see the delivery information and the status is not processed for delivery. It has not been processed for delivery yet. And once the status of this order was changed from on hold to confirm, it will automatically notify your customer as well, telling them that their order has been confirmed. So that is it for taking orders then if a customer calls you to complain so if you go to view customer if you go to view customer this was created for emeka you can see both orders that was created for Emeka. So if Emeka calls you tomorrow to complain about the product that they bought from you, you can easily go ahead and create a case here so that it's easy for you to track it. So you can put the subject, the name, then the status, the state, priority, as well as whom you are assigning it to. Then the case description, when it is resolved, you can also impute your resolution so for that particular order let's go ahead to generate an invoice for that order so you go to the order we can convert to invoice once you click on convert to invoice you see that it automatically populates the invoice with the order information as well as the customers information so if you scroll all the way down here, it has populated it with the customer's information. Then you can save. If you save this, you can then either print as PDF or email invoice. Since we're not sending it as email, let me go ahead to print it so that we'll see what it looks like. So this is how I use the CRM to manage my order my deliveries as well as my customers and for reporting if you want to know what is happening in your business you can go ahead to view your reports yeah so you can go ahead to view the reports so this is some of the reports i generated delivery by status you can see how many deliveries you have scheduled. You have one that is delivered, one that is not processed for delivery, and you have another that is not started. Then we have income per channel. So for Instagram, I've made a sale of 7,000 naira. From my website, I have that of 20,000. Our phone call. 45,000, then WhatsApp, I have for 52,000 Naira. Then you can see the other stage. You want to know the stages of all the orders you have. You have some orders on hold, you have some confirmed, and you have some on delivered. Then your invoice status reports. You know how much that has been paid, the how much that was unpaid, and then your cancelled orders how much did you lose from your cancelled orders then you have your most common delivery type what are the delivery type that most of your customers are more interested in the payment types so sorry you have payments on delivery payments before delivery 
then the most common other channel that's for whatsapp is the highest here we have instagram website for call and whatsapp is so so these are just the sample of the type so this is just a little of the type of report you can generate with the crm to achieve with this crm you can achieve with it this is just a sample so i'll go ahead to log out this is the software i'm talking about so you can see that if you have staffs or your staffs you can have them created on these systems you can create workflows you can create um timelines for every action so if you want the system to notify you some days before your scheduled delivery dates you can do that as well for every order you can generate whatever reports you want so long as that data is captured on that software as long as your data is in the crm you can generate reports for that so if you're a business owner who might not be involved in your sales process maybe you, you you don't even know what you have in your store you don't know who is taking these orders you don't know the channels that your customers are contacting you from the most you don't have a problem all you need to do is go to this system and generate reports so the reports will help you track your activities your sales activities who is doing what in your organization and who, who is actually not working so yes you can do that with this software if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so also turn on post notification so you don't miss any posts from me see you guys in my next video bye